Is it finally the year of the Linux desktop? I don't know, but I plan to find out. I recently picked up this Dell Optiplex 790. Uh, this is very similar to the 990 model. And uh, it has a i7-2600K, which four cores, uh, two threads each, so effectively eight at uh, 3.4 gigahertz. This processor is very popular with gamers because it overclocks well, but the motherboard's not going to allow that. What I want to see is if it will handle um, video editing fairly well. Uh, I think it shouldn't have a problem with 1080p. Uh, I don't shoot in anything in 4K, but with some minor upgrades, that could also be a possibility. Uh, my main desire, I wanted to try DaVinci Resolve 14. There's the open beta going on right now. So give that a shot. Um, I know it's also available for Windows and stuff like that, but I'm not too interested in ending up on Windows 10. Uh, really, really not interested in that operating system at all. So the side panel just pops off fairly easily. And I was interested in this computer in particular because it has eight gigabytes of RAM, but we can see it's in two DIMMs, so I can easily upgrade it to um, 16 gigabytes of RAM if I wanted to. Some of the models, uh, I got this one off eBay for just under $170 because I took my time on auctions. Some of the models will have uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, but it'll be split among four slots. So in order to get to 16, you're gonna have to buy all new sticks of RAM. Uh, two sticks of four gigabytes is about 30 bucks um, when I was looking for the costs. And I would also recommend getting a tower a mid tower, um, not one of the small form factors because, so here's the uh, PCIe slot. Uh, it's just got integrated graphics right now and to upgrade that, I uh, don't wanna have to search for a small form factor card. And the power supply is pretty underpowered. It is basically just what's needed to power the system and not much more so don't want to have to upgrade one of these in a pre-built when it is a proprietary power supply uh, it's going to be really difficult to get something more powerful and potentially power a better graphics card because this does not have a six pin pcie um, power plug so so putting a better graphics card in there is going to make it so that uh, you know money is going to have to be spent on a power supply but they're not that terribly uh, difficult to get. It has a mechanical drive, but I forget how large it is and it just sounds awful. I recorded some of it. Uh, just terrible noise. I don't know if it's close to death or if it's just not a very good drive, but um, I picked up a couple to try. Um, a 120 gig gigabyte one would probably work, but gonna be pretty uh, tough on space. So I went um, and also got a 250 gigabyte one that I'll install in a little bit. And just so it's quiet and I have space to actually do some editing on and kind of uh, future proof the computer a little ways. Uh, looking around on the back of the system, you can see, you know, it's got lots of USB 2.0 ports. Uh, it has a display port connection and I don't have a monitor that uses a display port so that's another reason why having the ability to easily upgrade a graphics card um, would be nice. The one card I know that you could use on the system is a Radeon HD 6450. That was an option that originally um, came when the system was new, uh, either 512 or 1 gigabyte worth of RAM. So, might actually be better to just, you know, replace the power supply and get something else in there, though. They can be had for less than, less than 20 bucks off eBay. So, that's the uh, basics of the system. Uh, if you're ever looking for one, I would recommend, you know, just keeping an eye out for the RAM. 
And I've probably got to clean out a few more dust bunnies in the uh, CPU cooler. So there it is. Hopefully great things will come. Uh, I wish I had a capture card so I could show the installation process. It, it's pretty easy. Um, other than that, uh, other than I guess DaVinci Resolve 14, I also want to try Darktable out. See if GIMP has gotten any closer to Photoshop over the uh, years since the last time I've used it. I think it's been uh, three or four or something like that. So more uh, great videos in the future. Thanks for watching.